Good morning friends. Today is 30th July 2023, 17th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Today's readings teaches us that keeping a personal relationship with Jesus, remaining in a state of grace and sharing his, his view of life are the most beautiful and the most precious things in the world. First reading tells us how young King Solomon opted for a greater treasure of accepting God to rule his life by doing God's will. He requested of God the gift of prudence and understanding heart to distinguish right from wrong so that he might govern God's people properly. God was pleased with Solomon's request and granted him a wise and discerning heart which enabled him to surpass everyone in wisdom. Today's responsible psalm, the psalmist says of the commands of God, For I love your commands more than gold, however fine. For in all your precepts I go forward, every false way I hate. Paul in today's second reading teaches us that, teaches us that all things work for good for those who love God, who are called according to his purpose. This is true of all who accept a close relationship with God as their greatest treasure. Jesus in today's gospel te teaches uh, that God's kingdom is something of extraordinary value. Possessing that treasure demands from us a total commitment if we are to preserve it. The kingdom of God is God's reign in our hearts, in our lives, in our homes, in our society and in our world. Only those who develop searching minds and are willing to give up everything for the great treasure of God's kingdom will be rewarded. Through, through the parables of the treasure and the pearl, Jesus teaches us that identifying God's will and living according to the gospel both with his help are the most precious and worthwhile things in life. Let us as Christians be exemplary in all our actions, our way of life and our deeds that we may truly be worthy of the Lord and everything that he has assured and promised us all through his Son Jesus Christ. Let us all reject the path of sin and evil and embrace anew the paths of God's righteousness and virtue and entrusting ourselves anew to the Lord like King Solomon that God's wisdom may guide us and keep us firm in faith and guard us against any forms of worldly excesses and wickedness. Uh, God be with us always and continue to show, and to show us his wisdom so that we may always be his most worthy and wise disciples whose actions and works, efforts and endeavors are for his greater glory alone. Let nothing deter us to, and stop us from seeking the Lord our true treasure in life. God bless us all.